What's up, music artists? My name is Jay Jonas, and today I'm gonna show you how you can make a logo for your band for no cost at all. That's right, for free, the F, which is the best price if you are working with a limited budget. Uh, for those that don't know, it's not so tough to make a logo these days online. You don't really need design skills. You definitely don't need to break the bank to get one made. So I'm going to show you an easy way to make a logo uh, with a simple drag and drop editor that is, like I said, for free. Right now, I'm, I've got my Chrome browser up and we're going to go visit canva.com. For you guys that don't know, <laughs> when it comes to designing anything online, designing some graphics for your upcoming show or to promote your new single or your new release or whatever it is, uh, you really don't need design skills and you could easily create some good graphics here on canva.com. A lot of the graphics that you see online are coming from Canva these days. So uh, you don't need skills on Photoshop or you don't really need skills on Adobe Illustrator. Those are great. You, you'll obviously make some more quality graphics, but Canva can do the trick for you. So just know that if you need to design something to get the word out on your social media, on your website or whatever it is, Canva is going to be one of the best tools you could utilize. I utilize it all the time when I am posting on my social media or whenever I need to create some graphics. So right now I'm in Canva. Let's just dive right in. I got the search bar right here going and I'm going to put logo. Now we got some different options. You might be able to put band logo. Let's see if anything pops up when I put band logo. Oh, wow. Cool. Band logo. I had no, so this is new. Obviously, there's a lot of people trying to make logos here for their bands. All right, now you've got these options here. And just so you know, if it has a crown, that's because it's gonna cost you. So Canva is for free, but they also have a pro account. I think the pro account's great, I actually use it, but if you're new here and obviously you're trying to save money by not paying somebody for a logo, there's some great stuff here for free. So just starting out, I'm just scrolling through and I'm already like, wow, these are pretty awesome. Um, and of course, the ones with the crowns are pretty great too, but you gotta pay for those, which is the whole point here is to get this made for free. Now, I'm going to just scroll through and I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'm just gonna show you kind of how to get this done. I'm gonna utilize this first one, you guys. I like the globe. I kind of like the, the, the text and things like that established uh, 2022. Now, Canva is super easy, like I said, to be able to design pretty much anything you need to design. Uh, and everything is click and drag. So here's the text. I'm clicking. I'm dragging. Uh, do I want to make it smaller? I, I can make it smaller by going down. Or I can make it bigger by going up. Or I could click this and kind of click and drag. And, of course, you know, my, my band's name is not The World Studios. I'm actually not in a band. But... Uh, I could click it, I accidentally erase it. So I'm gonna press Command Z and get it back there. Now, what I wanna do is not do that. This is all interesting. So I've never seen the text where it actually goes around like this. So let's say my name, my band name is, I'm just gonna top of my head, the Jam, the J, Jay's Jam Band, which is super lame, you guys, but uh, bear with me. Jay's Jam band okay i'm gonna press enter and cool so it went around the globe okay now i'm kind of gonna want to tighten it up here get it closer to the globe by clicking and dragging establish 2022 no me and my band have been together for such a long time we've been together since like 2012 so i'm going to change it by literally just clicking on it and it's kind of like if you were editing a word document um, now you might be like, well, I don't really like the, the type of font here. Well, you just click it and you've got all these fonts. Now, of course, I'm going to move me over here. Some of these are going to cost you. Uh, you could actually import fonts also if I believe, yeah, you could upload fonts if you do have the paid version. Um, but like I said, this is something that we want to do for free. So I'll just scroll here and kind of just look at what type of fonts they got going on. See if anyone stands out. Now I do actually like this font, which is pretty much why I picked the graphic, but I'm just trying to show you guys. Ooh, this is kind of like a Grateful Dead looking. 
huh, ooh, I like that. Actually, this is Grateful Dead-ish. Now, I just click this font right here for established in 2012. And I like, let's say you get lost, like, oh God, I lost what that font was. Well, it's up here at the top since I clicked it. So I'm gonna click it again and see how this, this works out. I actually like that. Jay's Jam Band. Now, the globe is kind of not fitting for this. So I'm actually going to delete it. And I could even do something simple like this. And these days, less is more. Um, but I'm just going to show you like an example, right? Now, this might be small for this, even though I, I, I make sure I got everything lined up. And as you can see, it's you can see the lines to make sure everything's lined up. Okay, so if I want to make it bigger, but I want to make it, I want to not only make the Jay's Jam Band, but the established in 2012 bigger, I'm going to highlight both of them and then I can make them bigger. Now they're together. Super cool. Okay. And I just want to make sure everything lines up perfect. And here could be my logo. Okay. Now though, you know, let's say you're like, well, I do want to put a symbol in there. That's important for me to have some kind of icon uh, that people can recognize when they think of my brand. All right. Well, I'm going to come here to elements. All right. And you've got lines, graphics, stickers, photos, and I'm going to put, well, since it's a jam band, I think I'm going to put a guitar and see if anyone would be, uh, this one's kind of cool, but I don't know because it's just a black and white logo. I kind of want to see, uh, 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 well, no, no, because the background's black. So you kind of got to take your time with this. Some of this stuff is in the pro account and see okay cool well here's the logo but i can't see it so i'm going to turn this thing white by clicking the color here to the top left you guys this is how you change the color of your font of sometimes of your graphics some of the graphics you can't um, but it's right up here the color and i'm going to choose the color i could choose it here or i could come here to the document colors and actually put in a color code that i have in mind um, and or I could just kind of mess around and see ooh, like, you know, the red actually looks pretty dope um, or I could just go straight white with it. And now I got like a cool little guitar here. Now, I believe this is acoustic guitar, I'm more of like an electric fan. Uh, but you see what I'm doing. You get the idea. It is kind of cool. Right. And I think these days, especially if you're just starting out, uh, or it, let's say you're just kind of putting your brand together online. You don't need to invest all this money into a logo. Like you should be putting that money towards your marketing and uh, things like this. So starting out simple is always better and less is more. Okay, you guys, now here's a logo I made. Now I want to connect them all together and kind of just make sure everything fits on the screen. I mean, everything fits smoothly and, you know, you know, it doesn't look crooked or anything like that. Jay's Jam Band established 2012. Great. Okay, so when you're done, you might be like, okay, well, what do I do now? You just come over here to share and then you press download. Now I'm gonna click over here. Now for you guys that don't know, PNG is something that's good for resizing. So, you know, if you use JPEG, you are going to, you could, you could kind of pixelate it, let's say for if it's getting adjusted to different sizes, you know? And so you, you often see pixelation when you got JPEG. PNG is usually the best. Uh, when it comes to, you know, logos, let's see what it says here. Best for complex images, illustrations. And when you got to resize things, the PNG is going to be better. So I'm going to put PNG and I'm going to press download here. All right. And it's going to download. And then now, boom, I've got myself my logo. Now you guys, I'm going to end it at that. This is my first video. Uh, so please, if you're new here, press like if you got some value from this and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading videos weekly, uh, giving you guys some insight, not only on how to like kind of design, this is a design video, but also how to market your music. And so, yeah, if you guys have any comments or questions, please go ahead and feel free to leave one. And I look forward to interacting with you. Hope you got some value from this video. Peace.